Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Stuck in the Middle Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, AK. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm Uncle AK. Hey. That's when you had to call use my own name. Or... This man is stuck on that Uncle AK thing, yeah, man. Bro. You got to brand it, bro. I know you're getting there. I like it, though. I like it. At first, I didn't like it, but, you know, it's, it's catching up to me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What's, so you... what, 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 what's the inspiration behind that? The inspiration by man, I work, bro. Like they call you Uncle AK. Yeah, they call me Uncle AK. And that's depressing, yeah. bro. No, 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 it's not. It's not. That's depressing. It's respect, <laughs> my respect, bro. My respect. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, you know, you already know, man. Welcome to another episode of Stuck in the yeah. Podcast. It's Friday. It's, it's it not, is. You know, what I'm saying we got we got grab for us in town. You know, we gotta grab them. Mm-hmm. Nah, man. First and foremost, yes, right? Sir. Um, the track y'all was just hearing that was uh my man Master Yen yeah, rotate. with his latest John Rotate. Y'all yes, should check sir. that on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, I like that track too. I like that track. He he uh he shoot a video too, so you know, models, dancers in the DMV pull up. Pull Hit up, up my style on, you know, IG. IG, yep. And uh, yeah, little bro. Report, hey <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, man, listen, uh this picture is clear like this. You know, it's 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 you know, for a reason we got it we got it we got a star in the building, man, from Cameroon. Uh, you know what I'm saying, like repping Dallas, Texas right now. hmm He is a wedding portrait and lifestyle photographer. Ladies and gentlemen, I ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna take too long. Just work on drinking my and stuck in the middle podcast, man. Boss, how you feeling, Drake? Yeah. How, you feeling? <laughs> how you feeling, boss? Thanks for having me, fellas. No doubts, no doubts. It's been a long time this coming, is awesome, man. man. This is awesome. We've been trying to get Dre on this job for the longest. Yeah. First time, yeah, went, went, went. Um, shout out to Sandra Kimayo. You know, we had on the uh, on the show before. Yeah, wifey. Wifey. Yeah, hey, your wifey. Y- 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 y'all just gonna put me out. There. <laughs> 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 we had wifey on the show. <laughs> Now, welcome, man. She she was great, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm saying, like, she must have gotten that energy and all that, you know, from from, from somewhere. Not from me. Not from me. <laughs> <laughs> she was born with that, man. She was born with that. You the quiet a, one in the, the, in the star. household? She's the star. Yeah? I'm, I'm more of the laid back one. Yes, sir. Hey, bro, like, you know, for, for people watching right now, you know, so let's just get into it. Mm-hmm. Who is Dre Kimayo? Wow. It's it's funny. That's always a very difficult question to, to, to answer. First of all, let me just say, man, look. I've been watching you guys for quite a while now. Yeah. Um, seeing it on Facebook is one thing. <laughs> Actually being here and sitting in this chair is another. It's another thing. You're stuck in the middle right now. I'm stuck in the middle, y'all. Yeah, you're ready. This is serious. You're ready. I'm really, really impressed. Like, this is this is dope. Appreciate um, that, bro. I think the community really needs this. Um, you guys are doing an awesome job, man. I, I really want to give it up to you guys. Hey, man. On the real. Appreciate thank you. That, thank man. you. Appreciate yeah. that. Thank appreciate you. It's that. humbling. Appreciate it's that. humbling. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Um, Dre, you know what I'm saying, like you said, wedding portrait, lifestyle photographer, like, mm-hmm. you know, like, how, how did that come about? Like, um, you didn't just, you know what I'm saying, like, pick up camera and say, I want to do this, John, you know what I'm saying, was there pieces that put together that, you know, came through? No, the, the honest truth about, you know, my journey in photography is I started photography um, as a way to just make a little extra money. Mm. Really, that was the main goal. How old were I you mean, then? I had a passion for it. This is 10 years ago, so mm. um, t- 2009. Yeah, I'd say about 2009 when I bought my first uh, DSLR, my first camera. Mm-hmm. Um, I travel a lot, so I was I would always go out, you know, take pictures and things like that. Um, I would attend um, attend events, you know, take pictures of people and then post them on Facebook. Facebook really wasn't as big as it is now, yeah. but then, um, and then people would just ask, you know, who took that picture? Who took this? Who did that? Who did this? And people would say, trade it, trade it, mm-hmm. you know. And next thing you know, people started calling me. Asking me, you know, how much I would charge for events. I'm like, I don't charge. Yeah, <laughs> y'all actually want to pay me for this? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I enjoy doing it. If, if they're gonna pay me for it, then I might as well. So I just started. I just started, you know, charging two hundred dollars here, one fifty there. Um, you know, baby showers, birthday parties, and things like that. And I always had that creative eye. I knew I wanted to be more than an event photographer. Mm-hmm. Um, my real passion was in fashion. Um, so I just took it from there, and then. You know, fast forward ten years, here we are. I'm so why why you would do you know say like the gigs here and there here and there like you know you had another hustle you know saying like I don't know like nursing or something. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so what do you ask that? Um, you yeah, I mean I do I, I I I don't do photography full time. Right. Um, I'm work I'm working towards that. Okay. Gotcha, um, yeah. But uh, I work in IT. Uh, that's something a lot of people don't know. But I, I've I've always held a full I've always held a full time job. So currently, I work as a database engineer for IBM mm-hmm. uh, in Dallas. Um, I moved to Dallas in 2015, so I've been working with the same company for mm-hmm. about you know, 
since 2015. So you use that to literally finance your... I use that to finance my love, my yeah. passion, which is photography. That's what it's about, um, man. And, 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 and there's really no knock in that, you know, in the, in the, in, in, in the, in the uh, photography industry, they, mm. they want to say, oh, if you're not doing it full time, you're not serious. I think that's crap. Um, I think that there's, there's, there's nothing worse than, an, that, than a struggling artist, mm. you know. Art is something that comes from within. And if you're not comfortable... You know, whether it be financially or psychologically, um, there's no way you can create. There's no way you can you can you can come up with something new. Mm -hmm. So, there's no point being a full time photographer if you're not going to be able to pay your bills. Yeah, you know what I mean. But if I can afford to work and still do what I love to do, I think that's the ultimate goal for me. Yeah. So that's why I've never been in a rush to quit my job or anything like that. I don't, you know, I don't strive to say, oh, this is what I do or anything like that. I just. I just put my pictures out there. Everyone knows me as a photographer, and, yeah. that's, and that's that's how I like it. Man, you're the CEO of Dre Visions, right? Mm -hmm. How long has this company been in place? Dre Visions. I registered Dre Vision in uh, about seven years ago. Seven actually. years ago. Yeah, um, but now I opened the studio last year. Right. So I've had the studio for about a year. Um, and basically, the studio. What the studio is, it's it's it, it, what Dre Vision is. is a media company now. It's not just photography anymore. It's fo it's, it's photos. It's video. Like you guys mentioned earlier. Yeah. You know, we're, we're getting into every space that's needed because photography is not about taking pictures it's imagery mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, when you look at social media today everyone needs to be represented properly i always um, say everybody deserves a photo shoot in their lifetime absolutely absolutely it's an experience mm -hmm. especially portraits um it's not just about wearing nice clothes and taking pictures it's 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 capturing a moment and freezing it forever if you take a picture today right now and in 20 years you look at that picture it will make you feel a certain way and that's the power of pictures. You know, people think it's just about buying a nice camera and taking pictures. That's really not what it's about. Mm -hmm. You know, it's about preserving memories, preserving history. There will be no history without pictures. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, photography to me means a whole lot more than just, you know, a nice camera or a nice lens or anything like that. Let's do a little bit on Dre Visions, right? Mm -hmm. How did it come about? I mean, you knew you had that passion for <clears throat> photography, right? But actually forming Dre Visions, how did that start? And how did you just, you know, talk us through the process of that? Um, I've always hated working for people. Uh, I hope no one at my job is watching, but <laughs> 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 that has always been my thing. I've always, I think in, in, inside, I've always been an entrepreneur. And it's the same with, you know, with Sandra. You guys met her. She's always mm -hmm. been about, you yeah, know, she's on it, building man. for the future, building for the kids and things like that. So I always wanted my own little thing. Um, but I was never creative from a business perspective. I'm, I'm not a businessman. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, so when I, when I decided to, to pursue photography, um, I knew that that was something that I was gonna, I was, I was gonna, you know, stick to. Right. As opposed to doing things that I'm gonna, you know, drop off, start here, drop off, and things like that. So, um, I started that. My name is actually Andre, but everybody called me Dre. Dre right. So I was like, oh, that I think that'll be a nice name for 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 the business. So it's that's catchy. how Dre Vision came yeah, about. It's catchy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What's so you know, what I'm saying like you know, uh, just you know, to go back on you know, say you being. Of, uh, photography not being your full time you know what I mean mm -hmm. and that's what this podcast is about you know what I'm saying like people you know some balancing life like that mm -hmm. is it a challenge you know so how are you able to do it you know see somebody might say yeah I got this gig uh, Saturday you like your manager's like yo can you work you know what I mean like, mm -hmm. so how do you balance it are there struggles if not you know it's a it's a very very tough challenge mm -hmm. especially with the studio now um, you find yourself working a full time job and then running a business full time it's 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 really hard I I I, I I barely get sleep sometimes. Plus the you kids. Know, I work um, eight hours a day, and then I get home, and then I'm on the computer editing or marketing or or things like that. It's it, it gets really tough sometimes, and that's why I try to not go too hard. I don't chase every job, um, mm. and I, and and I think that's the biggest thing with me too. It's that for your for your passion to stay alive, you have to do the things you love to do. Um, there's nothing like being a, a, a photographer who needs that extra hundred dollars to pay their rent because mm -hmm. then it'll make you short sell yourself right it'll make you undervalue yourself um if for instance that's all you do and you need let's say you need two hundred dollars to pay your rent and someone comes to you at the end of the month say hey man i have this wedding but our budget is two hundred dollars you take it knowing fully well a wedding is worth more than two hundred dollars and 
it, 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 it they it go creates, tell somebody or he they, shot yeah, me exactly for they tell someone and the next thing you know it's a roller coaster everyone now looks at you as, as a 200 dollars photographer mm. i think it makes the community undervalue you and i think that's the saddest thing in life to be an artist who is undervalued um it's the worst thing you know picasso <clears throat> didn't get known until he died right but he made no money yeah you know what I mean? Yeah. And then as soon as he died, his, his, his art was selling for millions of dollars. That's ridiculous. I want my art to sell now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And so you know what I'm saying? That entrepreneur minds to having multiple streams of income. Right. Yeah. 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 Go ahead, bro. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You mentioned about, you know, have, like it's not, it's not just the camera. How have you been able to, you know, select the better scenery, you know, use the better tools to portray what you're shooting and all that? Like, how did you learn to get to this to where you are right now i think the biggest thing for a photographer is to have the eye the eye is something that some people are born with there are really really some great photographers out there that i admire um that just make the worst things look the prettiest let me ask you know, you, you know what I'm saying like you know, on that who do you admire as far as like in the african community and also here being that in you're african, african community? Mm -hmm. who's killing it right now in photography man there's so many bro so many i mean i can start listing them but the biggest guy um when you want to talk about africa in general there's this guy in nigeria called kelechi Madi. Mm -hmm. he's like the godfather of photography in africa uh, in my opinion I is mean, that who you look up to that's who i look up to i mean i've actually been to lagos to attend one of his workshops the, the guy is excellent yeah um there's um there's so many Africans here in Nigeria, so many Nigerians here in the U.S. just killing it, man. Yeah, mm -hmm. speaking just, of workshops, you know what I'm saying? That's why you're in the DMV. Oh, yeah. Yes. People watching right now on Facebook saying they miss you, you know, saying they miss you in Maryland. You got a workshop, you know, we're we going to talk about it in depth, um, you know what I'm saying, later on. But we want to get to who Dre is in photography and everything. But you want to shout out real quick, you know, the workshop and everything people can expect, where it's at, when it's at, you know, say all that. Absolutely. Um, the workshop tomorrow, um, it's, it's not an open event. Unfortunately, it's a closed event for those who registered. Um, but hopefully, you know, when, when it's when it's over, people will get to see, you know, the footage and, and see what it was all about. But basically, the workshop is all about just me coming out, you know, talking to guys who are aspiring photographers, um, talking to guys who are already doing it. And we just, you know, find the space, share ideas mm -hmm. and, 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 and create beautiful images together. And uh, that's really, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Uh, for the, the photography community, I think, is one of the most sharing community in art, period. Um, that's the only... Uh, 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 art form where you can go online and find answers to, to questions mm. and you approach photographers more, a lot of people are willing to, to you know to talk to you and things like that so and, and that's just what I'm trying to do to my Dang, that's tough man yeah, yeah. that's tough I, I, I was actually gonna ask you like how you know saying important is collaboration in the photography you know saying realm like but you, you already answered it like I didn't know that was a thing like you know it's more sharing um, community Collaboration is is key to everything, mm -hmm. and I think if if you want to talk about what holds Africa back, or or let me just let me not generalize it. Let's just speak to Cameroon uh, in, in 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 particular. Um, I think collaboration is what kills us. Um, without collaboration, no one no one get no one wins. You know what I mean? Like, like do you know how many people I know that are doing million dollar projects by themselves? You know how hard it is to to do to to, to execute a million dollar project alone. Think about it. If you work for a million dollar company, look at how many people are in your marketing department. Look at how many people are in your media department. Look at how many people are in your accounting department. Right. That's mm. a million dollar company. And you're trying to execute a million dollar project by yourself. So I think collaboration is in general. And I think um, that change will come from art. Yeah. It's, it's, it's happening now. We have photographers. I, I, I can speak only to photography because that's the industry I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with. Mm -hmm. um, I communicate with a lot of uh, photographers in Cameroon. Um, so, so many of them are very, very open to information. They're open to learning. Um, they, are sh they are sharing. You know, when I go out to Cameroon, we hang out together. Uh, take a guy like um, G G. Mm -hmm. Um That's a young guy that you know I really, really admire because he's a, he's not only a good kid, but he's, he's he's very, very, very passionate about the craft, and he's someone you know we talk all the time. So I, I think collab without collaboration, the craft goes nowhere. Right. We've seen your work, right? And it's stunning, stunning, man. It's thank phenomenal, you, thank man. you. Yes, man. How do you get inspired, like, to pick a location? You know, like, what filters? Do you even use filters with your pictures? No, I don't use filters. Hey. Please. Dang. I do not use filters. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, yo, like, man, talk us. Well, 
I don't know if you want to put all your, you know, your, your, mm. your. Well, I will be doing that tomorrow. I will be oh, putting okay. everything out I didn't tomorrow. know it's a close, you close. Yeah, uh, but just for event. the purpose of the yeah. podcast, you know, like, yeah. how do you pick your location? Let's just stick to location. Um, it depends on the story. Mm. So when I decided to pursue photography, I picked weddings because I feel like, you know, I mean, who doesn't love love, right? <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. And um, it's bag in it, you know what I'm saying? It's that season. <laughs> exactly. So it's, it's all about the story, I guess. Um, I always like to get to meet the couple first. Mm-hmm. Um, talk to them. I want to know how they met. I want to know what, what are the things they like. Um, there's something called engagement engagement pictures. So we like to do engagement sessions before the wedding. Mm. That's an opportunity for us to get to know the couple. That's an opportunity for the couple to get to see how we work. Um, and then we pick locations based on what fits them. You know. So if they met, say for instance, they met in Howard University, mm. it'd be nice to do an engagement session at Howard. Right. You know what I mean? It's like a reminder. Exactly. Yeah. Some of us who go back to exactly where they met. People Some people met in high school. I would love to do a high school, you know, theme uh, uh, engagement session. So mm. it's all about, uh, but it's something definitely that a lot of thought goes into. Mm. Um, I stay up sometimes all night at, 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 at you know, and discuss it with my wife, and she's very, she's pretty creative herself. So you know, Speak, we, we come up with it. Speaking of that, you know, what I'm saying like you you got to do Latoya Luckett's. Um, was it engagement? You know, what I'm saying former Destiny Child members engagement picture. Like, how that come about, and you know, how much creative um, um, license is it? License? You know, how much creativity could you? Did they come at you with like you know how 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 creative could you be with that particular shoot? That that event actually was um, um, a very good friend of mine, a brother actually, in the name of uh, Mufa Daniel Don Murphy. You guys mm-hmm. must have yeah heard yeah, of yeah, him. yeah yeah yeah. Um, shout out. He does really yeah. Shout out to Don Murphy. Um, he made that whole thing happen, uh, really. Um, they knew I had the studio. They needed the shoot so bad. It wasn't really a planned thing. Mm-hmm. Um, they were in the ta- they were in, in in Dallas for the night, um, and they had their wedding coming coming uh, coming up. That thing that weekend. So they actually had a photographer who flew in from Atlanta for that as well. Um, and my boy hit me up and like, "Yo, we're bringing Latoya to the studio." Mm-hmm. I'm like, "Really?" <laughs> You know, and that's that's how it happened. I just rushed home, got the keys, and I, you know, rushed to the studio, and boom, that was it. She's really awesome. She's really awesome, man. Um, it was it was it was a blessing. Yeah. How, how much creative could you? Were you like? Did they say, "Hey, this is what we want," or like, you know, did you? Could you say, "Hey, I the, had this the, idea." The, the thing about celebrities is that they 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 work in a team. Uh-huh. So it was like we're in the studio, like fifty deep, like literally, <laughs> a lot of people were mm-hmm. talking about creative. People, the guys that did the video, um, makeup artists, hair, um, the designers, you know, shout out to Jay Bolin, you know, um, so yeah, it was a lot of people. So trust me, you don't come up with the, you, you don't come up with the ideas. Yeah. What are the hardest shots to take and the easiest? <clears throat> the hardest? Yeah, the hardest and easiest. Hmm. Oh, wow. I didn't. I never would have thought that would be a very difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, know. I don't know. Probably like, any probably like outside shot. shots. You know what I mean? Like outside. You know, because the weather can change. You know what I'm saying? Like sun might move that way. You wanted a shot this way. I don't know. I think the fact that I started photography doing weddings mm-hmm. kind of trained me a little bit more. I'm way ahead of the curve when it comes to guys who are just starting now. Because mm-hmm. what wedding photography does is it, it 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 puts you in that situation where you have to fight against the element all the time. Um, one minute you're in the church, the next minute you're outside, the next right. minute it's raining. Mm-hmm. You have to adjust to that. Right. So because I started as a wedding photographer, I learned to master my camera a little bit more than most people who's, who are used to working in a studio, which is a controlled environment. Mm-hmm. Because in the studio, you control the lights. Because photography is about light, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's no light, there's no picture. Right. So if you are able to control the light in the studio, you can get exactly what you want. But when you're, once you're outside, weddings go so fast, the day goes so fast. You don't have the time to set up. You don't have the time to get too creative. Um, I think it makes it forces you to master your your camera a little bit more. Yeah, I'm here in um, yeah, you know, here in Stock in the Middle, you know, we we showcase the movers and shakers in our society, and we try to you know show the young ones you know a better like, for example, in an African community, either you're a lawyer, doctor, engineer, or disgrace to a family. Mm-hmm. So here we're trying to show younger kids that there are different avenues, mm-hmm. you know, to arrive, you know, to make money, photography, you know, artists. Your passion, you know, to yeah. so be happy, you know. Yeah, exactly. You know. So we're painting a beautiful picture, mm-hmm. but I'm pretty sure that there was that one time when you felt like throwing in the towel. Absolutely. You know, like, speak a little bit about that, like a difficult 
um, client you had to walk with or just period in your yeah, life, you know, in life when like, you know you had to like <laughs> consider this whole photography thing like man, man forget I'm just about this. to, I'm just about guys, to secure the IBM you guys, little bit back. you guys are good you guys are good I mean I had an incident at a, at a wedding mm -hmm. um, where the uncle of the bride I think it was the uncle um, <laughs> you know how it is when you get to the reception you take pictures of everybody you go mm -hmm. from table to table you take pictures so I mistakenly somehow skipped his table Ish. and he was sitting with his wife and his kids and I won't lie to you, man. This guy called me up. He said, come here. Like, and, I, and I approached him, you know, African respect. And this guy just went off on me. Dang. Like he literally went off on me. Like what, kind, what, you know, what type of photographer are you? Uh -huh. eh? You pass my table, this and that. So, you know, I just apologized to him. I took the pictures and then I walked away. But I, 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 had, I, I mean, I've never been that embarrassed in my life. Man. Right you in know. front of people. Yeah. In front of everybody. In front of his kids. If and I was sure, I flashed him like. <laughs> yeah. You know, at the, at, at the time, you don't think about stuff like that. But, you know, at, at, as, as, especially as wedding tobacco we, 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 we go through a lot of ridicule, a lot of disrespect at mm -hmm. events. You have these African parents who are doctors. They come with their kids. Their mm -hmm. kids are doctors and lawyers, and they sit down and they see you as a photographer, and they think you you are hungry, yeah. and they disrespect you. Mm. So it happens that at, at I would say every event mm -hmm. there's one guy who does that, right. or one woman who does that. So as as an artist, you kind of get used to it, you know, and and I'm numb to it. I've never responded. I've never. I don't think I've, I've ever tried to you know talk back to to an order. Um, uh, yeah. uh, or to a senior, to a senior, or anything Kudos like to you, that. Man. Yeah. But it happens a lot, and sometimes you drive home, you're like, Dang. I can't believe it. I'm just gonna quit this thing. Why am I even doing this? Thing? <laughs> you know. But the passion is real. You, you get up the next day and you do it all over again. And then the so check don't bounce, yeah. then you do it again. Exactly. And I, <laughs> I, I, actually, I had to check one guy one time. Oh man, I talk about. Guy. It. I had to check this uncle, and I told him, I said, Uncle, you're here eating for free, <laughs> and I'm here shooting for four thousand dollars. So. I felt good after saying <laughs> that. <laughs> I'm dying to ask you That's this. Though. Something to think about. I'm dying to ask you this though. While we're on this topic, and you know, saying this, this this question is twofold. I'm gonna let you answer the first one, and I ask you the second fold. And you know, what I'm saying like I'm gonna generalize. Oh, I missed it just Cameroon. You know what I mean? Like I'm saying it because you know we've had firsthand experience. Photographers, you know, what I'm saying like somebody. You may, I'm, I'm trying to do a wedding. Somebody say, "Oh, go get such and such." And like, nah. nah when I do my wedding, you know, begin my picture until like nine months later. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, how can we break that stigma, yo? Well, you know what I'm saying? Because people are like, I don't want to use such and such photographer because I'm not going to get my pictures on time. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how you work. I'm not trying, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I get you. Yeah, like, It's a real thing. It's a real thing. You have photographers who sometimes get overwhelmed and are not able to, mm -hmm. you know, keep up with, with, with the demand, demand, I guess. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's when you know it's time to scale. It's time to get someone else. It's time to outsource. Mm. Um, I try not to be like that. I try. Uh, my my turnover rate is very very good. Uh, I really haven't had any complaints from any uh, clients about not getting their pictures. Um, some people, some clients just, would just complain regardless. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, some people are just never satisfied. But in business, you you experience things like that. But it's definitely um, a necessity for clients for photographers to maintain. Um, that standard of you know providing quick turnaround work. Yeah. exactly yeah exactly and prof remain professional remain professional well. at all times so my second my follow up is you know what I'm saying like you know you Dre Vision Studios is you know is, is becoming a media house short film all that stuff how you know what I'm saying how 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 is the dynamic of your team right now you know what I'm saying when you go to shoot like uh, weddings I imagine you're not just out there by yourself you know what I'm saying like speaking on you know your mentality how you approach it, your team work and all that absolutely not um I rely on so many different pieces mm -hmm. for a great production to 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 take place um and part of the reason i do workshops as well is not just for for talking about it it's actually the network that comes out of it you know you get to network with other photographers mm -hmm. and I, I don't live in maryland anymore but believe it or not 70 percent of my business is still here so i still come here all the time so if i have reliable people who are here where i can say hey i'm not going to be able to make this event but i need you to go out there and you knock it out for me and I, I, that's that's why we do what we do yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? As a photographer, you can only be in one place at one time. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So that's the whole point. But if I can get everyone else to 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 meet me at that level, mm -hmm. then people will trust you. Because mm -hmm. now, when they when they want to hire you, they want you. Mm -hmm. They don't yeah. want anybody else. Mm -hmm. But, but to get 
people to be t- t- to the point where they can they can be willing to uh, you know accept somebody else i think that's the ultimate goal yeah by the way, shout out to everybody who's watching right now on, on Facebook, Facebook Live. Yo. <laughs> yeah, 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 killing us yeah, with comments, man. Really the good. comments are just too lit. <laughs> you know, shout out to wifey Sandra Kemayo. You know, lighting up the comment section. Yeah, and you can but, say pay them on time. That's yeah, when if time. you pay them on time, they'll deliver your pictures on time. But and not. that's and, and that's another thing too. Pay them on time, they'll deliver your pictures. <laughs> but now talk about it. T- talk about this underground water sh- uh, shot uh, or shoot. Yannick is talking about here. Underground. Yeah. Underground water, man. Underground yes. water. Underwater. Underwater. <laughs> water. Underground water. Yes. <laughs> Why <is> underwater? <laughs> I'm not at that level yet. <laughs> but on, honestly, though, when I when I did that shoot, believe it or not, I couldn't swim. Wow. This guy almost died. So somebody was there just holding your legs, <laughs> right? Collateral. <laughs> In case. <laughs> when I did that, I could not swim. Oh, man. Um... How'd you pull but it out? How do you pull that off? It's God, though. Hmm. There is it's, God. It's God. It's the God. things we do for money in this, in this, in this, in this Oyobo country. It's God. <laughs> I love when I have clients who are daring. Um, in that particular shoot, I've done two underwaters, assuming you're talking about the, the prenatal one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's um, pregnant, yeah. Yeah, the prenatal one, she really wanted to do it, and she's an excellent swimmer. You know, so when she came up with the idea, I was like, man, we could actually definitely do that. Then I went back and I did my homework, you know, like a real professional shoot. You should always do your homework. Don't just walk into something you've never done before and expect to execute. So I did my homework and I, I got the um, equipment that I needed to protect my camera from, you know, the water and all mm. that. And I hit up my friend who who has a pool. I'm like, dude, I'm coming to do a shoot, a shoot at your house. And it's just like that, man. My goal was just to go under and try to stay for more than five, five seconds. seconds. <laughs> click, 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 five seconds. Click, five seconds after, I'll be coming back <laughs> up. So she made it a lot easier for me, I'll say, because she's an excellent swimmer. Yeah. Yeah. I got to ask you this, though. It's, 20, it's, 20, it's 2016. 2018 right now. We got an iPhone X. Like, you know, shout out to Achieve right now doing camera. Like, he, he has that. You may, you talked a little bit about, you know, the digital age, Facebook, Instagram, and all that. As a photographer, is the digital age social media threatening craft uh or is it you know what I'm saying i know there's the marketing as- aspect of it you can promote you know people can see but anybody can whip out you know the iphone x and take a, take a bomb picture. picture is that threatening yeah. to your craft do you know uh an iphone is never going to shoot a wedding it depends on Facts. what kind of photographer Facts. you are <laughs> if you're a photographer who's just out there you know playing around with a camera Radio absolutely program. it'll threaten yeah. you um but no i don't see that happening ever Mm. Um, granted, uh, technology has made it so easy for people, people to get decent shots with their cell phones and things like that. But I'm still waiting for someone to shoot a wedding with a with a cell phone. Right. I'm waiting for someone to shoot a high end, um, you know, editorial with a cell phone. It's just it's just not feasible. It's just not possible. What is it that you know now that you wish you knew when you started your photography journey? Wow, that is an excellent question, man. I have learned a whole lot. Being a business owner now, because to be a dad, you have to run the business. You have marketing. Um, I've learned a whole lot from a business perspective. Um, if I knew what, knowing what I know now, I would have studied a little bit more of business. Mm-hmm. You know, understanding sales, understanding branding. Um, because nowadays, you know, you, you are the brand now, you know what I mean? When we come to stock in the middle, we're we're coming to see you guys, you know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Shout out. Um, (laughs) so when people hire Dre Vision, they, 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 they're actually looking for me. So I have to be, be aware of how I present myself out there. Exactly. So those are the things that I've learned now that, you know, I didn't know when I started. I just thought it was about taking pictures. So from your point of view right now, what makes a perfect picture? You, you, you've taken pictures for like, you know what I'm saying, like <coughs> some, like the Latoya Luckers, the Tatiana's, Lady Khmer, like, you know, you know people on all scales and, you know, female pictures, Eureka, male pictures. shout out to Mami Everybody, Pekin. man. People can see your work online. Yeah. Like, in your point of view, what, what, what makes a perfect picture? The perfect picture is, is basically how that picture makes you feel. I think, to me, that's what a perfect picture is. You as the artist um, or the client as the mm-hmm. subject? You as a client. The artist, um, you don't have the same uh, emotional attachment to a, to a photo mm-hmm. as the subject. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I had a situation one time where I shot a wedding, and, and this was just a couple of years ago, 
and fast forward a few years later the father of the bride passed away Dang. um and then uh, out of nowhere you know it had been a couple of years and the bride the bride called me and said hey man my father died and you know we need a picture for the funeral and things like that fortunately i, I keep pictures for about four years mm -hmm. before i even try to let anything go so i went back you know pulled out one of the portraits and and, and you know blew it out and sent it to him that meant a lot to me mm -hmm. you know what i mean because they didn't have it so imagine something like that happens and you don't have a picture to show for it so it it, it just depends it's all about where you are emotionally and i think that's that's how i try to look at photos nowadays when i started it was just about getting that gl you know that glitter make it shine yeah you know but now it has to say something yeah you know i'm, I'm you can't just be clicking for the sake of it Man. they say a picture tells a thousand words so exactly. you like painting that exactly yo as we wrap you know as we wind down to the end of the podcast and you know you're in town for the workshop, the workshop tomorrow. You close. Know, man, plug it in or plug it in yes i didn't Visual know it was workshop. closed you know saying close I, I wish it was open but you have more yo. come no you, you can come through you vip hey shoot so you can definitely come through <laughs> <laughs> shout out to uh Echi, you know um emmanuel i mean so many guys that 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 registered man um we're about to make it a really 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 awesome experience tomorrow for him mm. um i also want to shout out the vendors that i'm working with i mean it takes a lot more than just a photographer to put on a workshop oh, yeah, what thanks. we're doing tomorrow actually we're, we're doing a styled wedding so we're staging a wedding it's a fake wedding mm -hmm. but it's a real wedding you know what i mean mm -hmm. so I, 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 I can't i can't go without shouting out my sis you know Eureka. Shout out to Eureka. Uh, Asher's events. Shout out to Eureka. Um, she's she's going to be events. holding the decor down tomorrow. Yes, sir. Um, Lydia, your beauty by lead. She's 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 you know doing the makeup. Uh, Crystal, obviously, we keep it in the family. You know, mm -hmm. um, Crystal is is holding it down with the hair. Um, two excellent models who are actually a real couple. Uh, David Miller, y'all can look him up on 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 Facebook. I worked with him in the past. Um, excellent, excellent model. He's gonna be, you know, holding it down with his wife as the couple. Stan Lyon, my own brother, Stan Lyon. Styling, um, styling the whole thing. Hey. So it's just gonna be an excellent event, man. It's just gonna be an excellent event. I'm a really lot of those people we've had on the podcast. So you, yeah, you guys can go, you know, check out the interviews yeah. with them. You know, learn more about them. Yes, sir. Oh, Bufista, Bufista. I can't forget Bufista holding it down with the food. So hey. check hey, out Bufista as well. This I, I was scared, scared, pull up. <laughs> Forget that. You know you can't miss with that one though. You know there's always wedding crashers, yeah. so I'll be the wedding guy. I'm just kidding. But bros, <laughs> you know rapid fire now. Rapid fire. Yeah, rapid fire. Yeah, rapid, fire. rapid fire question. We've come to that question. that point in the podcast now where we just shoot questions. You just shoot you questions. Just answer, you just quick. answer without even thinking yeah. much. Yeah. You hey. just answer. The first thing that comes to mind, you just say that. Eh? What did you give me before? <laughs> Punjabi juice. <laughs> 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 but, but yeah nah, you know so you can you know say you can do one word or you know say quick uh explanation like you know keep it short um, yeah, okay yeah Take what's your word. favorite camera canon 5d mark ii favorite lens oh 2470 2.8 l series all day what, you can do everything with that camera it's very versatile where's the furthest you've traveled for a shoot um London. Other than a camera, three items. Three items that's a must. You bring along with you. For for a shoot? You hold shoot, yeah. Oh a strobe. Mm, three items. Uh, obviously a lens. <laughs> and your eye. <laughs> <laughs> Most difficult you gotta shoot. Gotta have your eye. Most difficult shoot. Underwater. Favorite location? Favorite location? A park. Most easier shoot? Uh, easier shoot. Wedding. <laughs> no, what? Actually, uh, portraits, I would say. When you're free, what do you do with your free time? If you're not shooting or you know working? Uh, family. Uh, that's what I'm all about. The guy's a family man. Spending I love time that. with my family. Yep. Shout out to Sandra. Yeah, man. Beautiful wife. Beautiful family. Bro, <laughs> all good things have to come to an end, man. Eh, eh. <laughs> Just like that. There's, Just more, like there's that. more Punjabi juice after. We can, <laughs> we can stay back and enjoy. That's but yeah, awesome. man. Now, listen. I hope, you know, uh, the, the workshop tomorrow goes well. Thank you for coming through all Thank the way you. from Dallas Thank to talk you. with us, man. Thank yeah. you for having me, man. Yeah. This is awesome. I had an excellent experience, man. I just want to encourage you guys to keep it, keep it going. 
Um, I know sometimes you feel like people don't really see it. People don't recognize it. Yeah, yeah. But trust me, they do. Mm. They do. Mm. They just don't comment. Mm. Um, but they do. Just mm -hmm. keep doing what you're doing, and eventually everything will it, it, it'll, it'll pay off. Me, I mean, I, it's it's already paying off, mm -hmm. um, and that's the beauty thing. That's the beauty of 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 doing something you love because you you're not doing it for the money. Right. You're doing it because you love to do it, and and I, and I think that, and that's how success you know fuels in. So man, appreciate up, that. Man. That's yeah. encouraging. Hey, Drake. I want to thank everybody yeah. again who's been watching Facebook Live. I want to thank our dear audience here in our studio. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> hey you man, know. this episode has been brought to you. In partnership. <laughs> this episode has been brought to you in partnership with Perfect Office Solutions. Um, bring you office space for entrepreneurs in the DMV area. Um, let them know we sent you. Use uh, promo code SITM podcast. You get ten percent off. You know your monthly lease. That's yeah, a lot, man. That's a lot. You know, uh, let them know we sent you again. Uh, Perfect Office Solutions. Hit them up. Yep. Uh, man, we've had the pleasure of speaking with uh, Drake Imayo, wedding portrait lifestyle photographer. And He's CEO of Dre Visions. Visions, yeah. yeah. Uh, Check him out, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Instagram. Matter of fact, yeah, let how can people Instagram at Dre Vision, Facebook, Dre Vision Photography, Dre Vision Studios, um, Drake Imayo. Website. Uh, website, drevisionmedia.com. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, yep. this is Stuck in the Middle Podcast. And we out. out after I tell you guys to email us at SITM Podcast <laughs> 237 with questions, comments, or concerns. And follow us on all social media, media platforms. Yeah. Yeah. Please SIT. follow them. Follow them. Follow these brothers, man. Yeah, man. And this Sunday, we'll be sitting out with Dominique Monet. Yeah. She's Miss Cameroon, United States 2017. Miss right? Maryland. Yeah, Miss Maryland. United States. Yeah, not Miss Cameroon, Maryland. Oh, no, Miss Maryland, okay. <laughs> Miss Maryland. Sure, no, this Punjabi just got me going up, dog. <laughs> We're sitting there with Miss Maryland of, you know, United States. That's, yeah, Dominic. Yeah, bro. And she's a lupus survivor, too. Yeah, she's a lupus survivor. Yeah. Yeah, and then um, after that, we're going to be sitting there with um, Lobel Hunt. Yeah. I hope I said that right. Yeah. Owner and founder of um, La Belle Visage Studio. Yeah, she's so, so ladies, you, I mean, all the ladies with the, you know, eyebrows, makeup, lashes, eyebrows, lashes. lashes you know. I heard she's the biggest deal in the DMV, bro. Oh, word? Yeah, like, you know, my, you know, we're going to talk about it Sunday, you know, so, but yeah. she, yeah, I did, I was, I'm doing research right now. She, yeah, she's out there. Like, to get to her, mm -hmm. Um, you know, saying like you go to her her place, mm -hmm. and you know her. We are gonna talk about it, but to get to her, you know, when you go to barbershop to get, you know, Mr. Smith, you gotta pay. She's yeah, but yeah, I we learn all that. Yeah, I shout out, shout out, shout out to Atri, the chief. You know, for making that happen. Chitty. Yes, sir, That's my brother, yeah, man. man. And that man, Sir Hans, in the building. Yes, sir. Ch -ch 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 hey, stuck in the podcast. We hey, out. We out.